Uh, well, it's quite a moment in music history, and I'm joined now to talk about it um, with by the Beatles biographer Philip Norman, who's also just written a new book about George Harrison. Um, Philip, thank you for coming in. First of all, what do you think about the final song? I think it's absolutely terrible. It sounds like uh, the Electric Light Orchestra, an out outtake by the Electric Light Orchestra in the 70s. You don't know it's the Beatles, really. <laughs> it's such a mess. Uh, George, who could be very sort of ill-tempered, yeah. as I know, because I've just written a book about him, mm. didn't want this to go out. Uh, it was, it's been around since the 90s. So because he didn't like it or because it was quite difficult? Because it was a difficult process. The original demo was recorded by John Lennon in 1978 on cassette. Mm. So you can imagine trying to bring that up to modern-day music standards was difficult. Was it because of the process or because he didn't like the tune like you? Well, no, it's not that I don't... I don't think there is a tune, quite honestly. <laughs> and, you I'm know, loving your yes, honesty. John was doing a lot of doodling. He was supposed to have retired, but he hadn't really retired. He was still competing with Paul privately in the Dakota building. Um, and there were actually four on a, you know, on a cassette tape. One that came out was Free as a Bird, which was very, very sweet and fragile. Not very like John, as we remember him. Um, but George, in the end, they, he didn't think they'd got it back to the sort of standard to release. Mm. And he was right. And I rather respect George even more for that.